What's up, what's up, everybody? Open you are all doing well. This is your girl, Christine Kavanda. I am back again with a very interesting video. As usual, guys, this is a channel where you learn different tips on how to handle different situations. It's a cool morning. If uh, you, this is your first time that you're learning to this channel, feel welcome to Karibu Sana. We love you people. And please consider being part of this family by tapping the subscribe button kindly subscribe be part of this family and uh, for the returning uh, subscribers thank you so much i really appreciate your support thank you for even coming back to watch my videos i really really uh, appreciate and today i want us to talk about something uh, most of us parents we ignore so much and what i'm about to talk about the most affected team is uh, the children who are born in town those who are born in sharks at least at least they are not highly affected by what i'm going to talk about but those who are born in town oh my god as parents it's like we are failed in one way or the other and um, i would like to talk to our dear parents this is the high time that we need to take our positions as parents i'm not saying that we have not taken our positions but especially those who are in town the children who are being born in town are uh, mostly they don't end up knowing all the relatives from both sides that is from the father's side and from the mother's side and when i talk from the father's side i talk of even each and every child each and every child it doesn't matter that you're being brought up by a single parent or by both parents but it is very very important for a child to know the two sides of the of the parents that is the relatives and i'm saying this because i've seen a case whereby a brother and a sister got married that is a brother marries a sister and how did it happen um the, the, the father gets a child outside, that is the, the sister, the girl, and uh, when he, he gets married on the other side, he also gets a, a, a son. And then what happens? Because these two people don't know each other, it came a point whereby they came uh, to know each other, and they became friends, they started a relationship, until the relationship grew and the girl became pregnant. And when the girl became pregnant, and now it is the time to introduce my fiancé that I want to get married, that is the time they came to realize that they are a brother and a sister. And you can imagine where the relationship has reached. They have become friends. They have been friends for the long time. Uh, and uh, they have even gone to an extent of getting pregnant. And uh, now they expect it. They're expecting a kid. And now you start telling them, you know what, you guys you cannot get married because you're a sister and a brother you can imagine the kind of inconveniences that you cause to these kids who are not aware before that they are a brother and a sister so who is to be blamed here me honestly i'll say that the parents did not play their part for well because you if you're a man and you're sure that maybe you have like children outside and you know them it is very important very important to mention that to your family so that you avoid such kind of scenarios of course it's a serious situation and there is nothing that can be done because of course the child must come i cannot tell them to kill the kids because the child must come the child must be brought up and we must make sure that the child is not affected by that situation and so to avoid all this situation we don't need to beat up around the bush if you know you are a man and you have children outside just pick it out let your kids know look your cousins just ask yourself how many of your cousins have you introduced your children to all the relatives the uncles the far relatives you need to make sure that as parents we introduce our children to them. it might not be 100 percent but at least 75 percent of our relatives we need to let our children know, especially those who are born in town i'm also challenged because even my kids don't know especially 
actually not even it's from both sides they know like 30 percent of my relatives and you can imagine if now one time my daughter comes and tells me i want to get married and the person that is introducing me to is either my cousin or even my far, my first class cousin or even my far cousin it's so embarrassing and whose failure is this this is us parents failure so at any given point we need to introduce our children to our relatives at a kama to go town even if we are here in town please at least we should be making at least at a kama ni once in a year let the children go home let them interact with the relatives let them talk so that they can know each other to avoid these scenarios of uh, uh, children getting married to their relatives we've seen cousins getting their cousins children why? Sometimes it happens because sometimes we see cousins going joking here and there. But we need to let our children know that that only thing is not supposed to be shared with relatives. Actually, even the Bible does not allow that. Don't go sharing everything with your relatives because at the end of the day, you get your cousin's son or your cousin's daughter. That is, you get a child with your relative and it will not come out well it's not the best way and th this can be avoided through communication parents let us not hide things from our kids you as a parent it is your responsibility to make sure that your children knows your relatives from both sides from both the father's side from the mother's side please let us not assume this because i've seen things happening and it is because of us parents failure if i don't introduce my kids today to my relatives please anything can happen and who will be blamed of course i can't go blaming the kids like those two a sisters and, and a brother like that a sister and a brother i cannot go out blaming them the only advice that i can give them is if they are not able to separate because sometimes you've gone very far with the relationship you know each other even dropping you know telling them to stop to drop i don't know because they already used to be together maybe they have they have used to be sleeping together they have done all those things together and then you are here telling them to separate it's like telling a, a wife to separate with a with a with a husband and now jakosana you can imagine such a situation so to avoid this because me what i would advise those people is to focus with your future that is the only way out nothing else focus on your future because it is more important than your past if we don't inform them the consequences of sleeping with cousins the consequences of sleeping with brothers because we've seen many brothers and sisters you know they do it as a joke when i come come chase or come and up and leave them in the house then kidogo kidogo on the house they are trying to do their funny things and um sometimes it might even make the lady to get free but if we don't tell them the consequences of sleeping with each other like a brother and a sister like sleeping with cousins you know they might do it as a joke but at the end of the day but all this can be avoided through communication through information that you guys give them or the information that we give them so as parents let us not be ashamed be as open as you can you know out of chapwa if i tell my my daughter today if you sleep with your cousin it is an abomination what is wrong with that if i tell my daughter that going out at this age is wrong what is wrong with that but all what i believe is that information is power and it's very important let us communicate let us be very open to our kids let us make them know what is wrong what is right by not hiding anything if it is the issue of sex let them know that if you go talking out with sex this can happen these are the consequences let us not assume let us not assume that these are kids that don't need to be informed i'm telling you guys we need to inform our kids thank you so much for watching this video and if you love it please share let people know that we should communicate we should let our children know about our relatives and from me guys i love you so much